Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trufinet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn The Frozen Wilds. We're still in the cut and uh, after the last episode we need to prove ourselves to the Werak and uh, we're gonna, we could be doing that with a few uh, boring tasks like uh, clearing out a bandit camp or uh, going to a hunting grounds and perform a trial there but I think the, um, the tall neck over there might be a bit more interesting so What did it take to knock one of those over? Never to last. In case to nice. It a long time ago. But the scavengers have just gotten started. So in contrast to the original game, the vanilla game, this tall neck is not alive anymore. So something took it out. If we need to guess what it might have been, it might have been a thunder jar or something like that. Or a storm bird, but in any case. It's been encased in ice and we need to repair it. There's a few scavengers around here. I'm gonna try and take those guys out. There we go. Let's put a few extra arrows on there because I think I might be able to just kill him in one go. Or not. There we go. So they don't really know where we are. And for now the precision arrows seem to do their jobs. They know where I am. And I think that's it, right? Okay, that one is down. Let's see. Is the other one still alive? Because I feel like I hear him. Um... Using the Tear Blast arrows to try and take out a few of their components. There we go. There we go. There's a few other things that. Okay. I can get out of this. Why are they looking at us like that? That is weird. There seems to be another scrapper down there. Let's put three arrows on my bow. And keep going. Doesn't seem to do more if I... Oh god. Come on. Take it out. There we go. Let's take everything it has and move forward. I think we're pretty much in the clear now. Or not, because I still hear uh, dubstep noises. There we go. Okay. That's the last of the scavengers. Should scan the tall neck. See how deep the damage goes. Okay, tall neck. Like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get it what's inside its head. Okay. Find tall neck part array, find stabilizer and an actuator. Are those the parts that are missing or are those the parts that I can collect? Because it looks like they're not really missing. Isn't this what I need? Can I knock it loose somehow? No. Damaged stabilizer. Ah, okay, so those are the damaged parts. I'm probably not gonna find these parts over here then. Let's activate the quest. And I'm actually gonna show you something in the menus as well, because they added a few new things. So they added the new skill tree, the traveler skill tree. And since we still have 12 skill points left to... Uh, a sign we might as well go for each skill here. Mounted pickup, so now we can gather resources and search downed enemies while we're mounted. There we go. Shard salvager, disassemble resources and modifications into 50% of their metal shard value. Will come in handy in a second. Then the expert carver, increased chances to loot skins, bones, lenses and hearts. Mount repair, repair damaged mount using metal shards. 
Machine repair, repair any overridden machine using metal shards, and hoarder increases resource inventory slots by 20%, which is of course very handy. So we only need six more skill points to complete this uh, skill tree. So there we go, took care of a few of my, uh, well, my upgrades as well that I don't need anymore. Now, let's see. We need to find three parts and it doesn't look like they're all that far away. Why? Where is that pointing me to? Okay. It's just pointing me to the tall neck again. Oh god, hi. Alright. Okay. He did not budge one inch there. Stop still. God damn it. Yeah, there we go. Critical hit. And watch it down. That was annoying. A few watchers in my way. So let's go towards the first part. Shouldn't be so far away, actually. It's just right over there. Did they just drop it here or do I need to... Yeah, I need to climb this. So, at the top of the mountain there's a few glint hawks. Which might be an issue. I am horribly missing here. Okay. Oh, wow. There we go. Ow. Damn it, these guys are aggressive. Firebombs. And... And another blast bomb in the face. Hi. Okay, it's going down. I think I'm just gonna collect the uh, the part here. Huh. Okay, so that's what I needed. There's something else here as well. Might as well pick that up. Spear damage coil. Still don't know how to improve my spear though. Let's rappel down. Look at the snow going. I do love how this expansion looks. Um, wow. I'm just... Look at that effect. It's nice. So, let's head towards the next part. See you guys in a second. Oh, God. Um, it appears the next part is guarded by... What appears to be a sawtooth. Oh, no. It's one of the hell dogs. Okay, there we go. Now, um, one blast bomb. Damn it. Jesus. Oh, wow. Okay. Can't roll through that like in Dark Souls. Let's see, what else do I have? Shock, baby. I need to charge that thing. Oh, come on. That was the very edge of that.
Oh, what the hell is that thing doing here? Oh, wow, what the hell? Okay, let's make a few more blast bombs. I think I got that one. Okay. Completely missing the... Uh yeah, okay. Well then, that was a hefty fight, I think. Then I just, ooh, there's more stuff hiding in the bushes. I did kill the one hellhound. Scorcher, Scorcher, that was a name. Let's just sneak on over and take everything it has. And then slowly make our way to the cave. Yeah, fuck slow. I think there's something else in the cave, so let's just ease on up. Oop. Yeah, okay, fuck. Ooh. Why is it green? Why the hell was it green? Does it have the part? Oh, it has a Thalnex stabilizer. Okay then, and there's another thing in here. Blue Gleam! Thank you. You can use that to upgrade... Uh, I think I can use that to upgrade one of the special weapons, right? Still have a bit of supplies to make blast bombs, which is nice. But yeah, final part seems to be over there, but there's a lot of enemies between that and me. Mainly scrappers. Although I might be able to set a few traps for the scrappers. Let's... That. Oh, hi. Where the hell did that thing come from? Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this one has the part. Maybe a air blast arrow. Got it off. There we go. That's one. And then that one. Damn it. Wow. Okay. These fights are getting heavy. So I think it's supposed to be... No. You don't have it. It's probably him then. Heart seems attacked. There we go. Tall neck array. And that's pretty much it. So let's head back to the tall neck and see you guys over there in a second. Okay. So we're back... At the tall neck, so let's attach the actuator. Well, that fits. <coughs> then let's drop down and then put this underneath the stabilizer. It's in better shape than it was. And then on the sides here, probably near the legs, the array. Okay, all right. Just need to get the power flowing through it again. And if I'm wrong, at least no one's watching. Yeah, I don't think anybody would blame you if anything went wrong. Let's, um, override. It's a weird place to override it, but I'm hoping I don't need to... I wake you up. There he goes. Easy now. Easy. Okay. Right, it's never easy. Oh, look at that. Well, that was worth it. 
But now I need to climb it. I can't even make a dent in that thing. Oh, wait, wait. Fuck. I'm gonna be too late. I just saw the cliffside way too late. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I'm not gonna make that. Um, so let's... Give me a second and maybe I'll get onto it from over there. Seems like it's going in that direction. Just need to take care of the scrappers. Okay, almost broke my ankles there. You're not gonna like that. Shit, he's gonna have to go for it. No, 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 oh fuck, almost killed myself there, I think I found the spot, oh, I found no. seriously, so back to where the scrappers were, I think I might be able to get this, if I'm not getting constantly beraged, there we go, Okay, time to climb up to its head. Fuck off, seriously. Bye. Okay, so let's jump to the other side. And then over there, okay. We got this, we got this. Seems easy. <laughs> Seems easy now. There we go. Took me a while. No, no, no. Oh, why? Can I climb up on this? Yeah. And then over there. And there we are. Override it again for some reason. Because I feel like we've already done this. And... There we go. Map revealed to us completely. There's the cut. Okay, breaking up the tall neck ought to get the Werex attention once word gets around. Whoa! Loud explosion! Okay, there we go. Skill point added, map revealed, and 7,500 experience points. Um, there's three more things left that I can do, but the only really interesting thing is go and talk to Sekuli and figure out what she wants from us. So, uh, we're gonna do that next. So see you guys in a second, probably around Song's Edge. The ground, the air, me. So we should be right next to Sekuli here. Um, seems like she's... Where is she? Oh! Well, that's not an easy to reach place now, is it? Um... Is there an elevator to that to that place somehow or not? When the old ones were fresh Interact. In graves and our numbers were still small. It was she who let us. Ah, we can sit down right next to the storyteller. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna listen to that right now, so let's climb up. And uh well, if nothing happens, I'll see you guys at the top. What does the outline? I'm looking for Skuli. You found her. Come, come. Let's get it over with. Okay, there she is, apparently. She's already talking to me, but... Let's just climb up. And then drop down. There we go. Hello, Skuli. Quite a view you've got up here. It's a useful perspective. How fleeting we are when the world is so wide. From up here, you can see how the light paints across the land changing that's a lesson all our marks will pass that outlook sounds a little depressing for a painter haven't met many artists have you song's edge needs new stories i scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew but a new start needs new colors fresh pigments like none have seen Aurea said you could help me get the werax attention Aurea works in strange ways but i've drunk paint to survive in a blizzard so i'm one to talk I'll get you noticed, if you bring me the pigments I need to complete my work. So that is interesting. I have found two of the pigments already. But let's uh, talk a bit to Sekuli and let, let's know more about her. Learn more about friends. her. I paint about what I feel now, not the way things used to be. Aurea understood. 
Most Banuk didn't. I would have been exiled if she hadn't had Aratok take me into their Werak. Have you always been a painter? I've always painted. But I wasn't a painter until I was driven out of Banur. Up there, the markings are eternal. They paint over the same lines, the same colors, over and over. As a child, I learned from copying them. As I grew, my heart sank at the familiarity. All of us Banuk might as well be trapped in glacier ice. We have the look of life, but never really moving. Yeah, indeed, because it might not hurt to evolve a bit more than what they're doing. Let's give her the pigments we found already. Oh, so I found only one pigment yet. Probably the one below the waterfall, the light oxide, but I can't seem to do anything with that right now. Which is sad, because I thought this was going to be a bit more of uh, an intricate, you know, quest than just this. These pigments you want. Where should I look for them? Salts gather at the edges of geysers and hot pools. Crystals cling to the rocks and cliffs. Okay, that was not much of an explanation, because everything here is a rock or a cliff. The Banuk rock paintings are impressive, but, um... You want to know what they mean? That's not the right question, but... I'll answer anyway. Some are called to the machines. The sacred shapes you see on metal casings, or on a cauldron door. Do the machines listen to the call? I don't know. Others, like mine, are called to the tribe. You could say, inspiration, or prophecy and sometimes even men listen if the painting is loud enough okay that's I'll enough for now then for you seek out the vibrant ones a spring of sudden color among snow or rock or metal that's its own reward but I'd reward you as well okay fair enough so I can't do anything else with dad which is sad so let's just rappel down what a few I mean, look at this place, it's just gorgeous. I'm going on again about that, but this place is amazing. Um, so I wonder if me overriding the tall neck is enough to get the Werax attention. It might be, but I'm gonna have to check my quest log. So I've checked the quest log and we need to do two of the four tasks. Since we're not gonna be able to collect, well, we could, but I'm not gonna do that. We should collect all the uh, pigments, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna go to the proving ground, so I'm gonna have to clear out the bandit camp. But first, let's talk to a few of the people here and get some side quests going. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes, a sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. Okay, a musical instrument then. So Deep Din is a place and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. That's a nice of course, thought. If the waters don't recede. What's the point of joy? Or remembering. She looks familiar somehow. Like they used her model for another character, but I can't really put my finger on it. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain. Not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. Hmm. So where is it exactly? A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like. But I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? 
Well, we saw a dam before, so maybe something broke. And what is this? This merchant has a weird symbol above it. Ah, okay. So I can... Ooh. Oh, yeah, so that's what I can use the blue gleam for. So champion bow, power shot bow, and striker bow. Interesting. Seems like I would want the striker bow. But that's gonna be uh, a while. So that's oh, interesting yeah. to know. And now we have one more that side quest, I think, marker. Yes, over there. So let's activate that one as well. And uh, we'll see in the next few episodes which one we can do and which one we can't. Oh, wait. Urgent. Right. Mourn my poor departed luck. I finally met some Banuk keen to trade with Outlanders. Then they up and vanished. Three Banuk hunters. Rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. And you know me, Aloy. I'm sentimental. We don't really know you. I did it on credit. And they haven't paid. Well, they tried. Just look what they did to this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago. And I'm starting to worry about them. Hmm. Worried you. Tell me, Burgrind, are you worried about their well-being or your purse strings? A man can worry about two things. True. Uh, what kind of deal was this really? Just what I said. I was nothing but generous, Aloy. After they dropped this ruined heart at my feet, I even gave them another chance. Sent them to fetch a few other parts I need. But you haven't seen them since. <laughs> Hide nor hair. That doesn't sound good. What do you mean they couldn't harvest parts? Not uncommon with Banuk. That's shaman's work, you see. The hunters take down the machines. The shamans slice them up. No shaman with these three. Just two youngsters sniping at each other. And that big fella standing there smiling. So if the Banuk don't usually hunt without a shaman, what's the story with these three? Mm -hmm. They weren't telling. But hammer to steel is not a happy story, whatever it is. Okay, weird. Um, are they leaving? They said they asked you to outfit them for a trip. A trip to where? Not sure. But I heard them chattering about the Sundom when they thought I wasn't listening. So they're leaving Banuk territory. Sensible behavior. Still, I get the sense this wasn't a sightseeing trip. They're running from something. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to take a look at that. I'm a debt collector, Bergrind. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course. Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. The molten steel of youth and all that. <laughs> I love but the animation. If you do manage to find them, you could remind them of the deal we made. Yeah, we could. A scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphine. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too badly. I'll consider it. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. Wait, I thought you said they were leaving Banuk territory. Why were they leaving to the north? That is... Not anywhere near where they should be going. If they want to get out of here alive. But that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to, well, take a look at that bandit camp and clear it out. Because uh, we don't want that lying around there. So uh, thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.